I think America, it's a really powerful country, like a really powerful country. And America used to be, it, they, they were, America was helping people a lot, helping people a lot. And I'm thinking like, why not right now? Why not right now if Ukrainians like desperately need help right now? So why not to help them? If they're just asking to close the sky, protect them from the, uh, from the rockets, from the bombs. So this is not impossible for America just to step in, help people who need them right now. I am, as a Ukrainian, I'm paying taxes here. I'm paying like a lot of money here and I really want my money to go toward, towards the Ukraine, to help the Ukraine. For me and a lot of like, I know thousands of Ukrainians who's living here, they are paying taxes and we want American people, American uh, government to help our people right now in need. Especially Ukrainians, they didn't want this war. They didn't ask for this war. So Russians just came as the Nazis in the morning, early morning. So yes, Zelensky was asking to close the sky. And we are all asking for that, like close the sky because uh, they, can, they can fight the soldiers on the, on the land, but they cannot protect themselves from the sky because first thing the Russians did, they bombed all the airports, they bombed all the uh, aircraft. So we need this protection right now. Ukraine needs this protection right now. Talk to me a little bit about how your family is being impacted by this and why you're even more so pushing uh, for this no-fly zone. Well, I just talked to my mom and she said uh, they live in the, in the western part of Ukraine. So she said like from 2.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning, I'm sorry, from... 2.30 in the morning to 7.30 in the morning, the sirens were like working. So uh, even if they're not bombing you yet, so you are living in a huge stress. And we are talking about people who wasn't bombed yet. But what about people who's living in, the, in, in fear, like that they are bombing them every single year. So uh, when people are asking me, how's your family? It's hard to answer because right now I feel like each and every person who lives in Ukraine, they are my sister, they are my brothers, because they are children. I have children, I have mom, I have dad who lives there. So for me, each and every person who lives there right now, it's my family. I just don't want to say like my mom is in safe place or my sister is not in safe place because they are all my sisters' brothers. They are not safe. They need protection, they need help, especially in these times. Like later, we don't need this, like the war ended, like, nobody needs American protection for them to close the sky. But right now, this day, like this second, we need this, this help. If that help doesn't come relatively soon here and they don't make it a no-fly zone, what are you concerned of what could happen if they don't close it? That's, this is an easy answer. A lot more people will die. Innocent people. A lot of people, our kids are... Uh, are being born, born in the bomb shells right now. Mm -hmm. And I just saw a video like this morning that lady is giving birth and they, it's, they're bombing it on the, on the top. So it's, they, they can, you can hear the, the loud sounds like and they, she's giving birth and everybody's shaking because nobody knows if it's gonna be their last second there or not. So a lot more people will die, a lot more people will die. It's already a lot of, a lot of dead people and it's gonna be a lot more. I think that, I mean, I'm all for, you know, NATO closing the sky because like she said, Ukraine's a very, they're powerful in spirit, but they are small and helpless in a way. And I feel like America is such a big, you know, place and if they can assist, that would stop a lot of people from getting killed, especially innocent kids. Yeah. And um, I know that the big controversial issue is like, if. U.S. does interfere, then it's World War Three. But I'm not, I mean, I don't see how like closing the skies interfering, it's just helping. They're not sending troops, they're not doing, they're not fighting our war that we didn't ask for. They're just yeah. stopping the aircraft. Yeah. I think that would help a lot because yeah. a lot of the attacks are through missiles, through the air. Yeah. And I'll, I'll ask you both this question, but do you think America is doing enough right now to help? I don't think so. If not closing the sky, so this is not enough right now. If they close the sky, this is going to be a huge relief for Ukraine. So just 
we appreciate all dollar here that people are bringing here. We appreciate all prayers here. But so many people are asking, like, what can we do? What else can we do? So the, here I have, like, we're probably will post on our uh, page, um, Instagram page. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we will post a petition that each and every American can sign and send it to their senators. They can send it to their politicians asking to close this guy to help uh, American. Because we appreciate every prayer, we appreciate every dollar, but I know that America can do more. Not only uh, like um, lighting the uh, buildings with uh, blue and yellow colors. It, it, it helps like in an emotional way, but it doesn't help like in real life. Yeah. It doesn't help. It, it, it's like best feeling in the world that, that we are not alone like in this situation, that people are coming here. They're like Lions Pride. They're standing around us, like helping in any ways that they care about. Ukrainians who live in the other side of the uh, world, yeah. that they care. At least they care. It's nice that now people will never mistake you for Russian. Like now <laughs> Ukraine is recognized. No longer, oh, you're Russian, right? No. No, no. People know better now. <laughs> well, it's nice. You know, you're finally recognized. Yes, I think we both can agree that people should continue praying every day for Ukraine because God will help. If, if God is with us, then nobody can beat us. That would be the point. We want people to know that each and every penny that they're bringing here, it goes straight. We found people in Ukraine who's giving money there and we are returning money here. So we don't need to pay for the transfer. So each and every penny goes straight to the people who needs this help. Food, water, water, yeah, most of the time it's it's food and water because people are starving in Ukraine. They are throwing white ice and throwing a snow to get water because the Russians bomb everything. They destroyed everything. No, people, they don't have any water, any food, anything. So we're trying to help in any way we can help. We didn't expect this war. We didn't want this war. Nobody thought about this war. Nobody wanted this war. We were living like Ukrainians. We were living in the peaceful environment, like in peaceful world. And who knows what is going to happen tomorrow? Like tomorrow, we all potentially can wake up to, to a bombing, to the war. So why do we have to wait for some crazy to put in so he's going to think that he's ready to bomb the, uh, the America? So why not to stop him right now for, for the wor worst thing? I mean, I, I agree with her. I think that people are really trying to help, like genuinely trying their best. Like Americans are very supportive and loving, especially yeah. now recognizing Ukraine. Yeah. But I feel like it's not the amount of help, it's the type of help. And I feel like just that one action could be plenty just to help Ukraine. So it's just the type of help. And I feel like if more people petition it, maybe their, their voice can be heard and yeah. something can be done. And on a personal note for you, how, how has this impacted your family? My dad has his brother there right now. His brother's helping out uh, people who need shelter. We bought an apartment there recently. Bad timing, but at least we're trying now to hopefully have that be a place where they can stay and incorporate that somehow to help people. But we still have family there. They're, they send us messages every day. They're scared. Luckily, right now, they haven't been like their city and Phoenix has not been targeted yet. So it's like just a ticking time bomb. Like when is that gonna, when are we gonna get a message from them? Like, oh, we're bombed. <laughs> like it's just unpredictable and it's scary and you don't wanna hear that. And you're kind of, you were telling me earlier, you're kind of feeling that same way. It's like, you don't know when that call's gonna come. Yep. All, every text message of every time your phone is like vibrating or beeping, it's always like you're have, having like hard your heart is like almost popping out of you because you understand that oh, what if they, what if they send you a text message like, or trying to tell you that, hey guys, bye.